Recently, I've been on a Fear Factor binge. For those of you who don't know much about it, it's a game show that's hosted by the famous and well-renowned Joe Rogan. They select a handful of challenges that involve heights, races against time, eating disgusting things, being surrounded in bugs, and so on. It's pretty addictive. At the end of the show, there's only one person remaining and they're awarded a cash prize of $50,000. I'd spent quite some time watching the show. I burned through all seven seasons in just a few weeks. I was too cheap to buy them on DVD, so I just torrented them on my laptop. When I got to the last available episode, I noticed a file on my computer titled Season X. I didn't think much of it at first. I assumed it was just a collection of deleted scenes or bloopers or something. There was only one episode in the folder, so I clicked play and the show began as usual. Immediately, I noticed something was off. The host wasn't the familiar Joe Rogan, no. It was a familiar chubby actor by the name of Philip. I thought it was the funniest thing. I knew this episode was going to be strange. That was far from the truth. As usual, there were six contestants, three men and three women. Generally, they would act so confident and positive that they were going to win, but these people seemed totally scared. It was as if they didn't willingly sign up for this game. They all looked malnourished, skinny, pale, and tired. Each one of their eyes sunk into their sockets, their cheekbones stuck out of their skinny faces, and you could see their ribs sticking out of their skin. Each character was briefly introduced. Josh, Brandon, Evan, Sarah, Marie, and Joanna. They each had the same exact outfit on. White pants, white shirt, white shoes. Some of the males weren't wearing shirts at all, though. They all had a look of terror on their faces. Something of which had never seen before. I was deeply disturbed. The first challenge was all six of the contestants standing in front of a large pit that was covered with a sliding mechanical lid. Each of the participants stood there, almost emotionless, until the lid slid open. The host stood and watched over them with a menacing grin on his face. Something told me this was going to be bad. The lid to the pit finally slid all the way open. It was full of needles, rusty razor blades, and glass. At the other end was a measly bottle of water. That was it. I couldn't see why anyone would be willing to go through 25 feet of hell just for a bottle of water. Before I could even finish my thought, each of the contestants dove head first into the pit. They scrambled and fought, trying to get toward their goal. Josh and Evan were head-to-head -head leading the race. I watched in horror as Joanna grabbed Marie by her hair and was repeatedly slamming her face into a pile of glass. Brandon gained on Josh and Evan as they were in a full-on fist fight just out of reach from the bottle of water. The two leaders didn't even notice as Brandon passed by and got a grip on the bottle. He didn't get any more than a drink until Sarah came right up behind him, latching onto his back and sunk her teeth deep into his shoulder. Brandon barely winced, but it was just enough for him to squeeze the bottle tight and water shot out all over him. They all collectively shrieked in despair as they leaped to lick off all of the water that Brandon was covered in. Each of them tore at his skin with their fingernails, and the licking turned into ferocious gnawing. My jaw dropped, and a trail of drool hung round my mouth as I watched a terrifying event. My hands were shaking and my eyes burned as if I hadn't blinked the whole time. I never felt so disturbed, yet so intrigued. It was incredible. All of a sudden, a bell rang that indicated the time was up. The contestants were prompted by Philip to return from the pit. Only four of the six contestants ascended. Marie was laying face down, lifeless, with a needle sticking straight out of her neck. Brandon had been piled on crushed by the weight of the other contestants and ripped to shreds. They all watched as the lid to the pit slid shut and Brandon rolled around in pain, slowly bleeding out. Now only four remain, two eliminations in one round. Wow! We're going to run out contestants before we get through all the challenges, Philip shouted excitedly. The four remaining just stood there with blank expressions. Their bodies were covered in deep cuts. Needles and shards of glass were stuck to their skin, and they didn't even attempt to remove them. 
They just stood there, emotionless. Philip's face had morphed from a grin to a disgustingly huge, malicious smile that I found almost as disturbing as the scene I just witnessed. The screen faded black for just a second and then transitioned into the next challenge. Okay, you vermin. Here's your next challenge. We've captured some of your closest loved ones. As you can see here, the camera panned over to a set of monitors organized so they faced each other and every contestant had their own booth. They were in a dark room. A spotlight shined down on the group standing together while another shined upon the set of video equipment. Now each of you take a seat. Our team is going to torture each of their captives for five minutes. You have a choice to stop it at any time. There's a red button on the arm of your chair if you decide to do so. Let's begin! The four remaining participants took their seats and the screens illuminated their faces. It didn't show what it occurred, but they really focused on their reactions. All of them watched in horror as the videos projected what allegedly was their loved ones being brutally tortured. Evan almost immediately hit the button on the armrest. A buzzing sound shot out of my speakers and the screen went black. A masked man then approached from the darkness wielding a pistol. He then put a bullet in the back of Evan's head. Fragments of Evan's brain and skull splattered across the screen, as well as Joanna, who had been sitting next to him. Joanna didn't even flinch at the execution that just occurred beside her. Her eyes were locked on her screen. Her face twisted into a horrifying expression. I couldn't imagine what they had felt, but just from the sight of it, I almost began to sob. The timer in the corner of my screen read zero, and all of the monitors became dark. Okay, well, I guess you three have made it to the next round. Let's get on with it, shall we? I was far beyond disturbed, yet I couldn't help but keep watching. There was something about the show, the people, and Philip that kept my eyes glued to the screen. My heart pounded against my chest as the screen faded to black and the next scene came into view. The three remaining contestants were now standing in an empty room. In the center of the floor was a crude wooden chair with straps attached to the armrests. Ropes were attached to the legs. Philip stepped forward from the darkness. Earlier, I lied to you. There were actually two eliminations. One of you kept your eyes closed through the entire challenge. Philip then glared over at Josh, whose face now had an expression of sheer terror. That's when three masked men appeared from the shadows and grabbed Josh from behind. He could barely put up a fight due to the condition he was in. He managed to scream as the men dragged him over to the chair and strapped in his arms and tied his ankles to the chair. Josh began to squirm and beg for mercy, but one of the masked men retrieved a syringe from his pocket and jabbed him in the neck. Josh suddenly became limp. His neck gave way and his head swung down toward his chest. But you could see he was still conscious because his eyes began to blink rapidly. Then Philip began to speak. For this challenge, you'll be timed on how quickly you can eat Mr. Cheater's fingers and toes. You must completely swallow each one before moving on to the next. Whoever manages to complete the challenge in the shortest time is the winner. Joanna, you're up first. Joanna was frozen in place. Her eyes were wide open, and you could sense the fear emanating from her body. With a shove from Philip, she approached the now catatonic Josh. Okay, Joanna, are you ready? Joanna didn't even budge. Go! Joanna lifted up one of Josh's arms and started to bite onto his pinky finger. Josh continued to blink even more furiously as she ripped the finger off and started to chew. With each bite, you could see the smile on Philip's face grow wider. Joanna managed to eat the fingers and toes off of Josh's right side in 8 minutes and 54 seconds. Next up was Sarah. Sarah knew what time she had to beat, so she didn't hesitate to jump right into it. You could see her gag between bites as she ripped at his appendages and nearly swallowed them whole. Sarah finished Josh's left side with a prevailing time of 7 minutes and 18 seconds. Well, it looks like we have a winner, Philip announced. Joanna started to take off running into the darkness, who was soon apprehended by the sound of a gunshot in the shadows. Well, Sarah, you managed to top all of your opponents. How do you feel? Sarah's face was blank. 
A trail of Josh's blood dripped down from her chin as she just stood there, paralyzed. That's when the screen cut out and a word or two popped up onto my screen. Fear Factory. I was shocked. I didn't know what to think other than that it had to be some sort of fucked up spoof film. The fat blonde man was a renowned actor and all. But it just seemed so real. Wasn't he dead? I ended up brushing it off as an accidental download and went on with my life. Things were rather normal for the next few days. Till one day I received an email. Congratulations! You've been selected as a contestant in our upcoming episode of Fear Factory. You and five other contestants will be participating for a grand prize, which will be awarded to the last one standing. I just closed out of my email. There was no way in hell this could be real. It has to be a prank. Right? Shit. Someone's knocking at my door. What the hell would someone want at this time of night? I'll let you know if I find anything else out about the show. Maybe maybe I'll upload it to YouTube. I'll, I'll do that once I find out who the hell is knocking on my door.